This week's minifigure of the week is Oin. Brother of Gloin, Gimli's father, Oin is a helpful addition to the company of Thorn Oakenshield. With an expansive knowledge of medicine, Oin is a loyal and helpful addition to the company. Hello, and welcome to Bibblebrick 09's Top 10 Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit Extensions. With the Battle of the Five Armies Extended Edition recently coming out, now seems like a great time to evaluate which scenes originally cut out of Peter Jackson's Middle Earth Saga should have remained. This list will only focus on new and extended scenes, not deleted scenes. Also, many of you will probably think that it is unfair to compare the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit trilogies, but since they are connected and since I happen to like both immensely, I will be ranking them together. There are many great scenes that I was forced to leave out, so tell me which extensions were your favorites in the comments below. Number 10, A Short Rest, The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey Extended Edition. Where's the meat? Have they got any chips? After the company arrives at Rivendell, Elrond hosts a dinner for the weary group. While everything goes pretty smoothly in the theatrical cut, the extended edition shows how rowdy dwarves can really be. Keeley checks out elves, food is thrown, and Bofur sings a catchy tune originally written by Tolkien in the Fellowship of the Ring for Frodo to sing. The scene is made all the more memorable when Bofur begins dancing on the very pedestal that Frodo will place the ring on at the Council of Elrond years later. Although far from a necessary scene, it adds humor and more character development to the dwarves. Number 9, Ent Draft. The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Extended Edition. While many of the extended Treebeard scenes rank among my least favorite extensions of the entire series, Ent Draft is an exception. Another humorous scene, it includes some witty dialogue between Merry and Pippin. Pippin, everyone knows. I'm the tall one, you're the short one. You're what, three foot six at the most? It adds in a scene that is very similar to an event in the Fellowship of the Ring novel. A tree begins trapping Merry and Pippin in its roots, but luckily Treebeard comes and scolds the tree for attacking his new friends. Away with you. You should not be waking. Once again, it's far from a necessary scene, but it's a great one nevertheless. Another reason I like this one is because my first video ever, Ant Drought Overdose, was based on this scene. Number 8, In the Company of Orcs, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, Extended Edition. After traveling with Frodo and Sam for about 9 hours, we finally see them reach Mordor. But in a theatrical cut, they seem to get across the vast fields of ash rather quickly. The Extended Edition elaborates on this substantially. After escaping Kurith Ungol, Frodo and Sam set off to Mount Doom, but are intercepted by a company of orcs marching to the Black Gate. INSPECTION! Since the hobbits are in orc armor, the small-minded creatures assume they're part of the group. When Frodo becomes weary from the weight of the ring, however, their identity is threatened by the orc leader, and Sam is forced to save the day. Uh, again. Good old Sam. More of the Land of Shadow is featured in subsequent scenes, but this is by far the most memorable. Number 7. The Voice of Saruman. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, Extended Edition. One thing that bothered many moviegoers was the fact that Saruman is entirely forgotten about in The Return of the King. Well, this is not so in the extended edition. Gandalf and the others approach Isengard, and Saruman appears on the roof, taunting them, and, and according to Gandalf, casting a spell on them. A fairly lengthy dialogue ensues before Grima appears and stabs Saruman. Legolas tries and fails to stop him, and both Grima and the White Wizard end up dying. The only reason I don't have this scene higher on the list is because it's one of the few substantial deviations from the book. In the novel, Saruman and Grima travel to the Shire and try to re-establish their dominance there, before they are thwarted by Frodo and the gang. As it is, though, the voice of Saruman is still a great scene, and one that certainly should have been in the theatrical cut. Number 6. Queer Lodgings. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, Extended Edition. Most fans were not happy with the limited amount of screen time Bayorn got in this film. Luckily, about 8 minutes of more Bayorn were added to the Extended Edition, five of which are dedicated to this straight-out-of-the-book scene, where Bayorn was gradually introduced to the dwarves. Humorous and witty, the scene also helps the audience get acquainted with skin with the skin changer. Do you call it two? Several. Well, uh, now you put it that way. Yes, there could be more than two. This is definitely one of the best additions to the Desolation of Smaug Extended Edition. 
Number 5. Concerning Hobbits. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring Extended Edition. So what's a hobbit? For moviegoers who hadn't read the books, this is probably a burning question after the film jumps from a dramatic lengthy prologue to some blue-eyed teenager reading a book under a tree. Well, the extended edition briefly but effectively enlightens us as to what a hobbit is and what its values are. Also, if a director expects us to spend around 10 hours with his characters, don't we want to at least know a little bit about the main character's backgrounds? And for me at least, any extra time spent in the Shire is time well spent. Being neither renowned as great warriors, nor counted among the very wise. <laughs> Number 4. Funeral for the Sons of Durin. The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies Extended Edition. The Battle of the Five Armies Extended Edition was a little disappointing. Not only were 10 promised minutes cut out, but 90% of what was added was more fighting. More fighting that honestly wasn't entirely necessary. But we at least got one great non-battle scene. The funeral for Thorin, Feely, and Keeley. While short, the scene adds a crucial element that was originally missing. Time to mourn for characters that were killed off faster than red shirts in Star Trek. Even this scene was cut down though. Originally, Gandalf was supposed to give a nice little eulogy for Thorin and company, but it's now been cut down to two lines. By the way, this was apparently all Warner Brothers doing, not Peter Jackson's, so blame them. Number 3. Son of Thor, The Enemy Revealed. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, Extended Edition. We hear a lot about Thor in the first two movies, especially the extended editions, but we don't see him at all other than a quick cameo in the prologue scene. The Desolation of Smaug Extended Edition, however, gives us a nice chunk of time to meet him. After Gandalf literally gets jumped by the insane dwarf, he manages to temporarily stay his madness and converse with him for a bit. We learn what happened to his dwarf ring, and also a bit more about what's really going on at Dol Guldur. The extensions continue all the way until the pair is confronted by the necromancer himself. Thrain lets out a piercing Wilhelm scream, blech, as Sauron kills him. Other than the cliched scream, this is a great scene. However, I can see why it was left for the extended edition. Casual moviegoers won't be as entertained by crazy dwarves as us fans are. No, Thorin must not go near Erebor. No one must enter that mountain. Number 2. The Mouth of Sauron, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, Extended Edition. This may be the most memorable extension to the entire series, period. In the theatrical cut, Aragorn cries, Let the Lord of the Black Land come forth! Let justice be done upon him! And a bunch of orcs stomp on out. I don't think they're the Lords of the Black Land. Then again, this creepy dude isn't either, but he at least speaks for Sauron. And boy is he freaky. The Mouse of Sauron looks like something out of a horror movie, and maybe why it was originally cut. But it is an excellent scene that has been noticed by many. The Lego group, which otherwise ignored the extended editions in their Lord of the Rings sets, include the Mouth of Sauron minifigure in their Battle at the Black Gate set. The character has also been featured in several video games. The scene itself serves as a powerful metaphor for harsh words and lack of good toothpaste, and will leave an imprint in your mind for a very long time. The halfling was dear to thee, I see. Know that he suffered greatly at the hands of his host. <laughs> Before I unveil what I believe to be the best extension from the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit trilogies, here are some honorable mentions. And for you, Samwise Gamgee, elven rope made of heathline. Thank you, my lady. Have you run out of those nice shiny daggers? Baramir would have remembered his father's need. He would have brought me a kingly gift. Boromir would not have brought the ring. He would have stretched out his hand to this thing and taking it he would have fallen. You know nothing of this matter! He would have kept it for his own. When he returned, you would not have known your son. Baramir was loyal to me! Not some wizard pupil! Problem. Uh, there's one. Uh, everything's fine. Uh. 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 U
Number 1, Sons of the Steward, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers Extended Edition. While The Two Towers is not exactly my favorite film from the series, it does contain my favorite extended scene. After Sean Bean's character of Boromir is killed off at the end of the Fellowship, we don't expect to be seeing much more of him. But he makes a considerable appearance in this Oscar-worthy scene that also focuses on his brother Faramir and father Denethor. The city of Askelia has been reclaimed! It is the first time we are introduced to the steward of Gondor, Denethor, and it helps pave the way for some key plot points in the next film. A fan favorite, and rightfully so, Sons of the Steward is a powerful scene that should have, without a doubt, been included in the theatrical cut. I trust this mission only to your brother, the one who will not fail me. Well, there's my list. What are some of your favorite extensions to the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit films? Are there any that you think would have been best left on the cutting room floor? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more top tens, song covers, short films, video game playthroughs, brick films, and more. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you next time. You picked the wrong man to tangle with, Master Bard.